Right, today we are going to see a KTM bike. Or we're going to pick it up. And I am actually going to get a good one. Here I am, wiping my seat. Fucking rain! Fucking pissing down. It's misty. The roads are shit. They're wet. They're damp. But we're going to do this. I have absolutely no idea what the hell I'm pointing at. And here's me, getting a bit wiping my visor because it was so rainy, it was shitty. And here's Lee, we picked Lee up, I forgot to show you a clip of Lee, and here's Lee ordering a burger. And there he is, he's a little gentleman, like a, like a little, little dwarf, yes. And this is his burger. But all burgers and cleanliness and hand washes were procedured during this thing. And there's me, hmm. And there's the boys, and there's Simon has lavered out that lavered off. That's his name. And he's a great lad. And let's go through the boys, here we are. And there's Mike Ruby, which I call him Ruby, and he's setting his shit sat nav. His sat nav is the shittiest sat nav in the world. Because if he asks to go to, say, like Cardiff, we'll end up in Croatia. Yeah, we're going back to Mali, Come on up and ride, Robbie. Good on you. What do you reckon, Robbie? Yes, I agree. And as you can see, due to the weather, it's still absolutely pathetic and it's raining, the roads are shit, and it's meant to be summer. So what the fuck is going on, Mother Nature? Sort your shit out. But I'm sure the sun will arrive at some point. And we are heading in the south direction and we are looking at the sky and the sky seems to be brightening up. Oh my god, is that a bit of dry tar like I see in front of me? It could well be. And all of a sudden, the sun comes up the heavens up. And oh my god, we are sailing along. Five thumbs up. Everybody's shifting along because the sun is out and we are enjoying ourselves. And speed limits weren't broken because 60 to 70 mile an hour speed limits are the limits. And you must abide by those laws. And here we are, heading off into Port Albert. And it looks a really, really beautiful place. And there was a quick glance at my speedometer. Hope nobody actually looks at it. And we are back in Port Albert. For some reason, I've missed the clip. I've done it wrong totally. But it's Port Albert again. And it's, I tell you one thing, with all the smoke and the environmental dangers, but everything looks absolutely beautiful. It's hard to grasp the culture and the nature of how beautiful our country is. And here we are, Stephen Woodford on the side of me, posing as normal, looking at me, give me a glance, look at that glance, ooh, the sexy glance. I might actually freeze frame that moment. Look at him, he's glancing at me, look at him glancing, and he's still glancing, and then I overtake him because he's slower than I am. Then I pass the KTM again because he's overweight, and then Mike Roby. And let's see if I can catch Mike Ruby. Let's see if I got him. Let's see if I got him. I got him. I'm taking him in. I'm reeling him in. I'm reeling him in. I'm reeling him in. And he's waving. He's telling me to fucking slow down, Steve, you fucking idiot. But I'm reeling him in. And I got him. And I got him. I got him. No, he's still inside of me. I got him. Yes. And I fucking had him. And the bastard passes me back. Shows off. Leaves me like a childish little, little, little child that's scared. And then vulnerable and he left me and he did have no fear. English gaunt. But all of a sudden, I won't give up. And I take him. And I take him again. I take him. I can't take him. I've taken him. And I've taken him. No, I haven't taken him. No, he's gone again. Some lucky sod that misses a present. And once we have arrived, we see this KTM in a van that somebody's had bought or gift to them while Lee goes to do the deals and dodgy deals. And this is me just talking about the bullshit as normal, saying how hot it is and boring the shit out of everybody. Everybody's not taking notice. But yeah, 
And then this is the bike we bought. It's a it's a KTM. Sorry, a KTM. It's black. No, this is fun. And he's wearing black. And it's it's a 990. And it's actually still too big for the little midget. <laughs> Refuel moment. There's Lee trying to pop a wheelie. Here he goes. Watch his wheelie now. Ready? Come on, wheelie. Come on, wheelie, kid. I know he doesn't do it. And then we decide, and then we're stuck in traffic. And, and like all people know, bikers know that you are allowed to filter by law as long as you take it easy. But look at slowly and gracefully I'm going through, just in case some bastard opens the door or somebody cuts in. And some people cut in. So as you're riding across the road, people automatically see you in the mirrors and go, I hate bikers. And then they cut you up. But fair play to these little bastards today, not one person cut us up. And actually, I got a wave of somebody, and they were really grateful for us passing. And they said, Will you go and have a spin? Then we head off to Brecon, and then we see what the day. Look at me a bit, doing a bit of swervy poos there, just to warm the tyres up, like as if I'm going to ride really fast. And off we go. And there's Mike Robbie passing again, that bastard, English bastard. Fuck off, go and Mike Robbie. Oh, and Stephen, the poser, looking at me again. And then there's Berwin, big Berwin. And then there's. I couldn't see, that was too small. Was it the leprechaun? Little Midget Lee, I think it was. And look at the views. This is Brecon on the way, and the Brecon Mountains. Oh my god, the Brecon Beacons. They are absolutely outstanding. And the bike camera does not give it any justice. And the HD quality is actually nowhere near reality. But yes, so we plod on. And we get to Brecon and we ride on and we ride on and we ride on and we keep riding. But look at the views. But if you look up to the clouds and to the right, there's like a bit of rock, and that rock is absolutely outstanding. And if you look to the left, you can see a bit of trees in the hedgerow. There's the end, too, the trees. And then we end up on these roads, and they're beautiful roads, they're absolutely outstanding for great speed. Big corners, agility, we are absolutely in our elements. Then all of a sudden, we get into bloody Brecon. And I've timed my speech wrong. I was waving, then saying, fuck me, it's really busy here. If you look to the left, there's cars in there. If you look to the right, there's actually a nice bend coming. Okay, so here we go. Here's some more views again. There we are. There's all the cars. The holiday makers come down from everywhere. And they're coming down. And on the right, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars there. And we haven't even got eight, nine, ten. A bloody van. Run. How many people is in that? 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 3, 8, 9, 30, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 51, 2, 3, fucking loads of fucking tourism. They're spoiling our beautiful ride because we can't go fast just in case a dog runs up. Fuck me, is that a fucking oh, bus? Why the fast. fuck is there a bus in thing? Look at the cars, man. Jesus Christ, is there a fucking car sale on or what? Come on now, look at him. Look, I gotta pass the car because there's too many cars there. Look, look, there's a gap there. Why didn't it put somebody? It, it's just unreal. This is meant to be beautiful scenery for every to view. Not cars. It's not a car park. It's not a fucking trade centre Wales. Now come on, get your shit together. If you want to fucking visit Brecon, get a bike and ride past like we do. But anyway, I'm not gonna be bitter. Look at the views on the left. Apart from that fucking Corsa, can we try and stop for some food? So we call in and we think. Oh, we'll have some food. But then we said, fuck that, because there's no other park. So we carried on, we ventured on. And can you see what's coming up now? Is this rather splendid right-hand bend. And look at, look at the views, look at the views. Look at the views. Wales is... No, I don't blame tourism, because people don't get to see the... Look at the fucking cars and the lay-by. Look at the... F and look at the views, look at the views there. Look at that. That is outstanding. That is amazing. You've got to visit... If you were uh, on a motorcycle, take keep your cars at home, buy a motorcycle, you know. And if it's more than one of you in the family, get a bloody motorcycle each. Okay? But anyway, we were riding about 30 miles an hour here, 
and there was a complaint apparently there was a complaint on Facebook about noisy bikers coming through Brecon which I'm going to totally disagree with because for the simple reason is we couldn't get over 2,000 fucking rounds so you police you're either totally fucking dead or you got tetanus so many years because to be honest with you there is no way that all bikers are making loud noises and you know the people chewing their food probably louder than the bikes passing okay and there we are past the car and that's the only bit of noise i made okay and that was about it okay and that was probably about 101 decibels and that's well below average laws okay so yeah but look at the views i'm not being not being nasty Look at the views. Oh, there's a cyclist there. So after a few minutes of bastards admiring road. all the tourism, we decide we're going to get back onto the open road, or we're going to start sailing away, and off we go. And off we go, and then we start, we start riding slightly speed, about 59 mile an hour, because it's a 60 mile an hour limit, and we keep at 59 mile an hour. I've told the boys, Anybody who goes to 60, they will be removed from the Manup and Ride crew. Okay? So, look at the fucking cars. Okay? Uh, anyway, besides the cars, let's carry on. So, we plod on and we enjoy. And there's my speedometer saying 59 miles an hour. So, we plod on and I'm trying to look at the road whilst driving, riding, and taking in the absolutely amazing scenery. And here's me again. And we arrive in. Brecon in the town and we decide to have a pint but it's a pint of shandy a very strong shandy mind I must say and yes and there's me talking bollocks again which nobody ever listens and this is after the pint and I am not endorsing anybody to drink and ride because it's bad but make sure it's a shandy like 50% lemonade 50% lager okay then after that we head back and all of a sudden after that pint we ended up in Thunderbury and this is it. Look at the bike. Steve again. Give me the look. Look at the look. And look again. Is he? Is it? Yeah. He looks again. I'm, I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's fancies me. But yeah, we keep doing, and we because I fucking do carry on the there. And then we end up in West Cafe. We were going to Owl's Nest, but for some reason, we listened. And all of a sudden, then they skipped to a screen on the way home because I think Robert needed a pool. And there's Robert in front of me, the fat bloke I keep saying about. He's in front of me and he's shifting. He's actually riding like he needs to shit. And look at him, I can't catch him. He's like, I'm going to shit my pants. I'm going for it. I'm going to shit my pants, Steve. Don't hold me up. And he's going like hell. Look at him go. Look at him around the bend, around the twisties. Yeah. Left hand, ooh, ooh, turtle's head's out. And he is actually going for it. But after all that, Rob goes for a shit. And I decide while he's having a shit, I shall refill my tank. Up, I fill it with the high octane fuel. Actually, it wasn't high octane fuel because it didn't have any. Yes, and we carry on. Close my tank, keys out, and off we go again. And here's Robert deciding he hadn't quite finished his pool, so we're going to actually shoot on and he's going to try and finish the second half of his pool. And he's, and he's really going for it now because he needs that shit and he's late for that shit. And he told me he's touching cloth, you can feel the turtle's head coming out. So come on Robert, but I'm not going to show you the video footage of Robert having it. Poop. But we did. Ooh, that was close. Almost touched helmets there. Then that frustration decides to evolve. The car slows you down on a bend that you love. And it just, you hate that person driving the car. You think that was the best bend on the road and he ruined it. So I could see Rob's frustration. And, and it wasn't just a frustration of needing a poo. He just took his frustration out and said, fuck, and as he passed, fuck you! And I said it as well, like, you know? And then Rob pushes on and he pushes on like, like, he ain't got no time, he ain't got no time, and he's going, he's pushing on, and there's another car, but can his, can his poo hold back, can he hold back with his poo, I don't know if he can, so Rob is like, he's waving back and forth, just to try and keep the poo in, try and push it back in with his ass in the seat, but he, can he do it, and then he just said, oh another biker, hi biker, and then Rob, he's just, I think he shit himself, he's slowing down, he shit himself, he's actually filled his fucking pants.
Something all of a sudden from out of nowhere. From the abyss comes Berwin Jones. He never rides with us, but then all of a sudden he's with us today. And he and he's in front of me. And he ain't taking no prisoners. And he's and he's passing, he's filtering. It's not like Berwin at all. So Berwin thinks, Oh my god, I'm gonna leave Steve. And every time I've been on the ride, I take Berwin every time without fail. But today he won't have it. Better we were fucking having it.